patch block synthesizers. I do love these little things. Welcome back to Gear Facts, guys. Today we are talking about patch block synthesizers, and we're going to have a bit of a listen to what they can do. There is software that can be downloaded for these. Highly technical stuff. It takes a lot of training and understanding to actually program one of these, and you can look at the programs that actually make the sounds inside, and they are very elaborate. I can tell you that now. But as a fun device that's flexible in the sense that you can load preset patches into them. Some play rhythm loops, some play synth sounds, and some even play samples. You can load anything like that into one of these little things and control the four parameters to make them do pretty much anything that you want. There's plenty more I could tell you about these little things, but let's just have a listen. We'll put all the controls down to zero, switch it on, and get started. So we have a balanced crossover there between rhythm and synthesizer. So that's our first demonstration. I know that was relatively simple and you could get that on many other synthesizers or at least similar loops on other synthesizers. And that causes us to ask, well, how exactly do you apply these or use them in the real world? Well, obviously the first advantage that they have is that they're extremely small and they weigh virtually nothing. So if a DJ, for example, just needed to play that particular loop in one particular part of the set, that would be a very easy accessory to patch into the whole mix and just use for that relevant part. Me personally, I was using this instrument with kids shows and of course a lot of kids can't play instruments and some of them have special needs and things like that. And to be able to hold something that's colourful and very tactile that gives you such interesting musical output is a really nice experience for kids. And of course I remind you that because they're reprogrammable, I can make every show different. This yellow one is programmed as more of a manual synthesizer. So the left button is playing a sequence of chords and the right button adds a different note or a different flavour to that chord. And it also resets the loop of the chords controlled by the left button. So another beautiful loop. This one has a guitar sample programmed into it. And the left dial is controlling the chord. Right button is controlling the overdrive of the chord. But I do like how you can generate a chord progression using this dial.
So those are a few of the ways in which you can use patch block synthesizers. Thanks for liking, commenting or subscribing guys. I'll put up some links to some other small synthy type things that I've used and reviewed on Gear Facts in the past. And thanks for watching Gear Facts. We'll see you next time.